Okay, I had a few bugs there that I had to fix. It wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Uh. Oh, that was grimy. Um, we're going to try to finish this map up if I have enough recording space. Um, this may be a three-part series thing because... Um, Right now, I can only record up to, uh, um, it's about two hours, I think, is the most I can, no, it's about three, three hours I can record is about how much I can record max. Um, uh, I, when I was at Office Depot today and I got these headsets to, uh, uh, this headset so that I can do recording with a microphone that's on it. I uh, looked at auxiliary hard drives so I can do a lot of gameplay footage. So, I looked at one. It's a Western Digital 4 terabyte, um, $114, I think, which I don't think is too bad. Um, it'll allow me to record like eight hours of gameplay footage, which would be awesome. be so nice. Just be able to record gameplay footage all day long. And whenever I want, when I, whatever game I play. Let's see if we can get caught up to the combine here. Then I'll start the combine back up. Destruction. Really? <laughs> I wish I could do the. Uh, I, could, I wish I could speed up my gameplay footage. Like for sections like this, I'd fail all, t all the time, and then I'd speed it up so it'd only be like 30 seconds. But no, that doesn't work. I don't have that. If I did, it'd obviously work. And I'd use it a lot more than what I would use the editing program almost. Turn, bitch, turn! Yes, I do cuss a lot in my videos. And I can see parents out there going, that bright little faggot that, that's only. 15 should be cussing that. My grandma's like that a lot. And it's kind of terrible. And I. Gonna let this go for a second while I go. Shut this light off. There we go. Lights off. It'll be a lot. Easier, I won't have it. Uh, glare. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm only able to record 49 minutes now. I'm gonna have to delete my other video that I did earlier. Because my hard drive is so small. Hot dogs make me burp. <laughs> oh no, that was pizza that I ate earlier. Getting mouth farts. I don't know why my frame rate is so terrible. I'm only getting 16 frames per, se per second versus like 27 normally. So there, no, we just dove down to 12.
Ugh. I want to get my Euro Truck Simulator working, which has been a huge, massive hassle. Because I had the product key sent to my email, and um, they, uh, my email deleted it somehow, so I, had, I was going to contact the company and see if I can get another product key. It's no big deal, but you go onto the SCS software website, which is who your truck simulator is through, their designer, and uh, you can't contact them on any way, but they've got a YouTube page and a Facebook page. So I went to their YouTube page, seeing if there's a web link or anything there. Well, their official trailer, I was so pissed off at the company earlier that I flagged their trailer for pornism. Pornism. <laughs> they flagged it for porn, so they have to go in and fix my flagging, which is funny as hell. Here's a tip. Com if you start a company, make sure that your customers can contact you. Whoa, let's hit that bail. Try to keep them in a straightish line so that I can just come flying down that road. Grab him with an automatic stacker McBob McDoohickey. My ear itches. Let's hop up and get this guy going. Yes, almost all my equipment in this game is modded. That class Lexington thing with your combine. <laughs> um, I modded that so it'd have a huge massive tank for that for a Canadian map I did. It's on it's earlier in my gameplay footage videos. Um <coughs> oh. Oh. so I can hear. Um, that map, I, in the three, no, it was about six hours that I probably spent harvesting it. I harvested about, uh, what was it, what was it did I harvest? It was a massive amount that I harvested from it. But, I ended up harvesting, I would say, uh, about three million bushels of canola and about three million bushels of wheat, if I'm correct is what it was. And by the time I got done, one combine had about four thousand bushels of wheat in it, and the other one had about three million bushels of canola in it. And you, I modded that so that you didn't have to constantly be empty in the combine. Because if you're doing that, it just wasn't fun. Because you're just constantly driving. Because I don't have a steering wheel, which makes it kind of hard to drive in this game. Playing one lonely farmer on farming simulator. <laughs> that that's a if you guys if any of you guys don't know that's a guy on YouTube. Just go to the search bar on YouTube and look up One Lonely Farmer. Really nice guy. I'd actually like to go and work for him one day. If I get a chance. It'd be really fun. You know, they get a lot of snow compared to what we get here. I very rarely have fun in the snow. Like, um, just a picture on my, uh, on the top of the page, on top of my YouTube page, that was only, that was filmed about a month ago, it was actually t taken about a month ago, and, uh, the tractor drifting video that is one of the most famous videos that I've ever uploaded to YouTube, it's got s s 
almost 600 views, if I'm correct. Uh, which is definitely compared to bigger than two people. But, um, it, uh, uh, that was that same day that I took that Steel MS311 cold start video and the drifting video and the pictures on top of my YouTube page. That's the same day that we had a, when we had the snow, which was pretty cool because I went out front at about, she called, my grandma called me in the front door and I was like, what? She was at about 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting there on my computer, probably on YouTube, and she called me to the front door and was like, look outside! It's snowing! I was like, what? And I'm walking out front. We already had about a quarter inch of dusting on the ground. I was like, this is going to be bad. So I threw on all my clothes and waited until it was 6 o'clock, which is normally where when I start to go outside and start to do stuff. And uh, by then we'd had about a foot and uh, about, about a foot of snow. It wasn't anything bad. I got the tractor started after using a weed burner to heat the oil up that was in the oil pan so it was so cold that all that was starting to crystallize and stuff. So I pushed pushed snow all that day and into that evening. And that whole day I pulled six cars out of the ditch just within a few miles of then just a mile of the house. Here the farmhouse, as I call it. As, as I call it. Um, then that night we got another about seven inches on top of that. So I went out and pushed all that off and then I came back inside. Being said, I didn't do that much really that day. It was about six o'clock. Normal time I stopped if there was nothing much doing going outside. Um, and I stopped, came inside, got all undressed, sitting on the couch watching YouTube, and all of a sudden my grandma was like, well, you got another job, and I was like, what? She was like, yeah, the mail carrier just slid off the road. I was like, oh my god, really? So I go out, and we get the tractor started again, and it's still warm, but we really need to get a block here for it, but I never get around to looking to get one. But... I uh, went out and went to pull him out, and of course our tractor isn't four wheel drive, so I had to get a running yank at him, <laughs> and I yanked it, yanked his car out of the ditch, and in the process I yanked the front bumper off of it, which was completely his fault, because he was the one that slid in the ditch, which was really funny, because I was laughing at him, and, in the, and I was like, why oh, didn't I tell him that I'd yank him out of the ditch for 40 bucks? Because that guy was completely retarded in the first place. Shouldn't even have been driving. And I'm going to stop here. I'm going to go and see about picking up a stack trailer. And I don't know why that peaked out right there. The baby, just this will be my stack wagon tractor. My frame rate isn't going to die. Which I don't know why it's wanting to die so easily. Building! Backing up. Go! Oh. Uh. There's Granny. <sighs> um, let's see here. Let's go to the store. Let's go to. Through the forest and into the woods. Let's go through the forest. 
didn't even know I had this map. Oh, tree. Tree. Mm -hmm. Tree. Why didn't they make this one big, huge, huge field? That would be awesome. Let's see if we can dodge trees. Not this frame rate. Oh, maybe. Just, oh, he's trying to do this shit. It's gonna be more. With higher frame rate, I can actually dodge right through the trees. Walking over here. Walking over here. Get in this. Uh, back up. I'm gonna get a present from Class Lexington. And then you, you go to Harvesters. You can do this with any of your headers. Get the biggest header you've got, which is my 12 meter, which is like. 36 feet, which that thing's beastie compared to those other headers. Back up. Like that. Pull up, pull up. When you pull up, forks high enough. I think this is how I did it last time. This was how I did it. Just like that. Connect. And then you thing, but that'll work. <laughs> uh, go. Uh, gee. Pick the header up. And then you can carry it to your job site, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to stay on the road. Hopefully I'll have enough weight so I don't do tractor drifting. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna go to G. G, 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 G. Change tools. Go D. Go C. Uh, go G again. Change tool. Go down, 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 down. Down, down. Drop this header. Drop that. Drop the header. Which just threw it. China, which <laughs> is weird, really weird. And I think I'm gonna make this a three-part video because I'm gonna stop and take a short break here. So, stay tuned.